Hi there, this is Manav once again and in this video we are going to see some of the best utilities from Nearsoft. Now if you remember we have also covered them before in this channel but in this video we are going to take a detailed look on that. Now for those who don't know what Nearsoft is, well it is a website that is run by a single guy called Nearsoftware and over a decade he has published more than 200 windows utilities. But what makes it different from the rest is all the utilities are free, needs no installation and wait in few KBs. But the most important part is you can do pretty cool stuff with them. So without any further ado, let's check them out. Okay, so before we begin, I suggest you download Nil Launcher from official website. It weights only 24 MB and contains more than 200 utilities. Or you can also download the programs individually, whatever works for you. A link to both of them will be in the description of this video. If you get a warning from your antivirus, just ignore it. Nearsoft is safe and this is just a case of false positive. So once you're done, extract the zip file. Number 1 is ProtoKey. So just like your phone IMEI number, Microsoft Windows and its office suit also has a unique identifier called Product Key. And if you want to reinstall your windows, you will have to enter to activate your package. Now if you cannot find your Product Key, which happens more often than not, then this small utility will help you. Simply run it and it will automatically detect the product key of your windows installation along with other office programs if it's installed. And for those who are wondering why a big company like Microsoft is using such a low tech method even on 21st century, well the good news is from windows 10 onwards you don't have to use any product key. Microsoft uses a special technique called digital entitlement to verify the installation. Number second, Cur ports. So this utility will give you the list of all the programs that are currently running on your windows and connecting to the internet. So if you are skeptical about a malicious program or a virus running in the background, you can check it with Cur ports. Of course, you can also use the built-in resource monitor for the same purpose. But Cur ports give you more options, like it shows you the complete path of the process. So it is easy to identify whether it is a system process or a malware. And if you don't want the process to talk to the internet, you can disable it by right clicking on it. Number 3rd Chrome Cache View Now imagine this, you find an interesting image on the web but forget to save it. Now the next time you visit that website, the image is gone. Well not exactly, chances are that image is still stored on your browser cache and if you add quickly, you can still retrieve it. Now the usual way to do that is type in about colon cache in the omni box and then use find option to search for all the pngs and jpegs but that's just a difficult process right a better way is to use a chrome cache view and as you run this utility it will list all the images saved in your browser which you can sort by using the timestamp and then simply copy the link and paste it in your browser now for those who are wondering whether this can retrieve cache from the incognito window, well it cannot. The moment you close all the incognito windows, all the cache and cookies are also gone. Number 4. Video Cache Views Well guess what, what we have seen for the images also works for the videos. So if you would like to download a video that you have already watched, then you can use this utility. Simply run it and then sort the list with the file size. And then you can also look for the last modified dates. Though it is worth noting that not all the videos are going to be played, but some of them do work. And if you get lucky enough, you can find yours and simply copy them to your local hard drive. Personally, I won't say it is a reliable method, but if you desperately need to get a file back, it's worth checking out. All it takes is one minute. So yeah, why not? Number 5. Hosted Network Starter Ok, so consider this, you go to a hotel or to your friend's office and you urgently want to connect to their internet. But the problem is, most organizations limit the number of devices for each user. But with hosted network starter, you can quickly create a new Wi-Fi hotspot from your Windows machine and then share it with your friends. Kind of like how you do with Connectify installer. But this application is lightweight and needs no installation. Although one confusing thing that I would like to clear here is, in Windows, you can share the same connection mode. So if you're getting internet from Wi-Fi, you can also share it in form of Wi-Fi. But this is not the case with Mac, Android and iOS operating system, where you can only create a Wi-Fi hotspot if you're getting internet from the sources other than Wi-Fi, like Ethernet, data pack or dongle etc. Number 6. Quick Set DNS So if some websites are not loading on your computer, 
or if you want to unblock geo restricted websites then changing dns helps now i have done a separate video on what is dns and how do you change it on various operating system but that method is bit tedious and takes a quite some time but with quick set dns you can quickly switch between multiple dns server with just one click and you can also add a new dns record by just right clicking on it and select add new dns overall it is useful if you are a power user who frequently change dns for testing purposes number seven folder change view so if you suspect someone is using your computer without your permission then here is how to confirm it run this utility called folder change view and it will give you the list of all the modified folders along with their timestamp you can also check if somebody has inserted a pen drive or connected this computer to other wi-fi network by using other utilities from nearsoft i have done a separate video on that so for details click on the video appearing in the youtube cards right now Number 8 Wireless Key Viewer So imagine this, your friends come to your house and ask for a Wi-Fi password, but you don't remember it. Or well, let's say you want to find the Wi-Fi password of a network that you have once connected, but don't remember it right now. So here is how to do that. Simply run this utility and it will give you the list of all the Wi-Fi networks that you have ever connected to, along with their keychain password. Number 9 Web Browser Pass Key so if you are following this channel for a while, you will know that storing password on your browser is not at all safe and even can find your password with simple inspect element hack. But even that is not needed. With web browser pass view, anyone can quickly find the safe password on your browser. Now this one is a work computer, but I can show you the screencast from my old videos. And as you can see there, it reveals all the hidden password. Now this utility is useful in situation where you cannot remember the password but I consider it more of a security risk. Anyone can insert a pen drive on your computer and steal all your password in less than 30 seconds. They don't even have to run the software. A simple auto run script will take care of that. And this is why I suggest you to use a dedicated password manager like LastPass. Number 10, Wireless Network Watcher. So this one is the most useful software from Nearsoft. I use it quite often. All you have to do is simply run it and it will show you the IP and the MAC address of all the devices connected to your network. In the description, it also shows you the name of Wi-Fi card. So it does give you an idea of which device is it. Similarly, if you suspect someone is stealing your Wi-Fi, you can even set an alarm so that whenever a device joins the network, you will get a notification. Well, this is all for now. Since most of these utilities make changes on your registry file, you may get a false warning from your antivirus. But don't worry about that. Just make sure you download from the official website that is nirsoft.net. Also, I am sure there will be new apps from Nirsoft in future. So be sure to check the first link in the description for updated list. So that's it for now. Give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it and leave a comment on what you think. And like always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I make videos on tech tips and tricks for better life. So that's it for now. This is Minal signing off and like always, thanks for watching.